Previously on Children's Hospital. I'm afraid I have some bad news. We're going to have to slice off your son's c This part. We got a school bus crash off the 495. 50 kids badly injured, broken bones, some of them retarded, the whole deal, and they're coming here. <sighs> Glenn, stop. We're breaking up. No, it's not because you're Jewish. Attention staff. Dr. Ritchie, please pick up your scissors from the autopsy room. A hospital isn't a place for lazy people. A hospital is a place for smart people who take care of people who aren't smart enough to keep themselves healthy. Oh, man, she is hot. I would like to bang her in her clumsy vagina. But we all have brains, and brains are messy things filled with jelly. And although jelly is sweet, it made me do a silly thing. I broke up with Glenn. What? Why? He's the hottest doctor at Children's. I just can't imagine spending every Christmas with a Jew, you know? Lighting candles all the time, telling knock-knock jokes. Totally. Driving minivans, reading books. Right? I'm going to break up with Owen. Why? Well, you broke up with Glenn. We're roommates. That would be totally confusing. Right. How are you going to do it? I don't know. I need to think of a good lie. Ah, oh, I wish you were Jewish. Mommy, I'm scared! Bitches. Blake. Blake. Want me to tickle your arm? <laughs> yeah. Do it. Okay. You're there, you're there, you're there. No. What's up? Look, you're the attending physician, so I need your permission. I want to cut this kid open. Why? She's got a broken arm. Says who? The x-ray. Please. I don't trust these. They're not even in color. Look, I gotta open her up. What if it's something more serious? What if it's AIDS? I don't know this kid. I gotta make sure she's got the right type of arm guts in there. I'm supposed to trust some medical textbook or some black and white space photo? Come on. I'm a doctor. It's what I do. Up the OR. You better be right this time. There you are. Hi. You want to scrub in, watch me tear into a youngster's flesh? Uh, no. I want to break up with you. What? Why? Are you Jewish? Have you ever seen me drive a minivan? No. Then, um, I have a brain tumor. How long have you known? How long have I known? How long have I known? Uh, I can't lie. I, I don't have a brain tumor. I just, I couldn't think of a reason to break up with you. Break up? Not with you sick like this. I'm gonna take care of you. No, no, no. Did you? I said I don't have a brain tumor. That's just the brain tumor talking. Oh my God. No, listen to me. I don't have a brain tumor. Shh. Go and rest your tumor. I'd kiss you goodbye, but I don't want to get brain cancer. Huh. Hey, Rumi. I poured you a greege. <sighs> well, how'd it go with Owen? I broke up with him. Oh, babe. How'd you do it? I told him I had a brain tumor. Wow. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, babe. Hey, I don't want you to be sad. I want you to dance it out. I don't know. Yes! Are you sure? Oh, uh-oh. What's hey. happening? Whoa, uh-uh. Yeah, come oh, on, hey. come on. That's so good. Oh, hey, oh, it. Hey. Sometimes, no matter how smart you are, you have to do what your brain jelly tells you to do. Only problem is, jelly is messy, and you could get it all over yourself. <laughs> to catch a terrorist, you need to think like one, act like one, terrorize like one. I work for the National Terrorism Strike Force, San Diego Division. Am I a white knight or a black checker? Or perhaps... I'm like Jenga. Tell me your future!
your thoughts. All I know is, if you have to ask, trick or treat, you're on the wrong side. I quit. I don't negotiate with terrorists because I am one. National Terrorism Strike Force San Diego Sport Utility Vehicle. Previously on Children's Hospital. And that's why the only thing better than today is tomorrow. So inspiring. Yeah, I wish I had cancer. I want to break up with you. What? Why? Are you Jewish? If... love how fine is the line between love and like between best friend and lover how much can we love one another if we don't even love ourselves we live our lives and we try to find meaning in our jobs and sometimes we make it our jobs to find meaning in our lives and we eat and we breathe and we sleep and sometimes we go to the bathroom. It's called life. And what do you get when you cross life and love with Lola? Lufa. Hey. Hey. Oh, you got a, um, a bat in the cave. What? You got a stalagmite? Huh? You have a booger. Oh. Other nostril. I guess I must have given you my cold. I gotta run. Pop this kid's shoulder back into place, would you? Thanks. There you are. I found a pair of your panties in my bed this morning. We broke up a month ago. How often do you make your bed? I'd like to make your bed again. When it's over. No, it's not because you're Jewish. A lot of people like candles in minivans. What? Look, excuse me while I pop this little boy's shoulder back into place. I'd like to pop your shoulder back into place. Now kiss me on the inside of my stupid mouth. I can't anymore. Whatever happened to the healing power of laughter, you know? Used to be I could pull a rabbit out of a hat or a quarter out of some kid's nose and poof, leukemia's gone. You know, I once cured a case of Lou Gehrig's disease by pretending I was trapped inside a box. Sounds more like the healing power of magic. Or mine. Just a claustrophobic clown in this tiny car of life. And I can get tiny car sick. Hey, like, why don't you try the healing power of medicine? <laughs> medicine? <laughs> why don't I try the healing power of my ass? Uh... Anyway, thanks for listening, Chief. What? What are you doing? Oh, my God, I totally misread that. What? I'm sorry. <sighs> Yikes. So your girlfriend broke up with you, who cares? I've been divorced four times, you see me crying? Yeah, right now, you're crying. Listen, why don't you come back to the force? I need my partner back. I can't, Briggs. Not after what happened to us on 9-11. You gotta get over 9-11. That was seven years ago. <laughs> it almost seems like it, doesn't it? No, it was it. It's 2008, so 9-11 was seven years ago. Are you sure it wasn't 2002? I thought it happened in January. No, forget it. Listen, just come back to the force. Maybe this will change your mind. Your old shield. Your peace. <sighs> Briggs, I'm a doctor now. In my line of work, I use a different kind of gun. A gun that doesn't take bullets. I get it. You're talking about a scalpel. No. Laser gun. Yeah. You use that thing for surgery? Oh, God, no. I vaporize people with it. Did you know that in outer space, there are no laws? We should go there. Could you and I be married in outer space? What did you say? Nothing. So that's it. Thank you for watching these, the first two episodes of Children's Hospital ever. Um, you know, watching these episodes, I was kind of reminded of why I got into this whole business in the first place. When I was a kid, I used to, I used to put on these plays in my basement, and my, uh, 
my babysitter Kurt used to direct me and it was we we would just have so much fun like he would just tell me to do certain things like once he had me um he had me take my pants off and um wait that can't be right Oh my God. 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 Oh my. No. No, 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 no. Oh, that son of a bitch. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Oh my God. Ugh. Ugh. I can't. I can't. Oh my God. Oh my God, that son of a bitch!